So, this, this one is Pluto. Pluto is a planet. It is not a moon. That's Neptune. It has two satellites. Two large moons, at least. And they are orbiting it far away. Oops. That's like, hold on. This is Uranus. It has five large moons plus one. It is spelled P-U-C-K. And it's, and it's almost, uh, it's almost spelled as the word puke. Let's puck. <laughs> yeah, I know it has a funny name though. What else? Oops, wrong one. This is Saturn. Saturn. I know 13 of Saturns, but this has 12. But Promonthus is the first one. My mess, Empolus, Mencelatus, Tetis, Style, Rhea, Titan, Hyperin, Lapitus, and then finally Phoebe. But, but the 13th one I know is Janus. But I don't know where, where it is orbiting Saturn yet. It's like we're saying something from Star Wars. Keep going. <laughs> this is Jupiter. I know six of it of them, but this only shows five. The ones that shows are Amalanta, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Well, I know the six moons: Phoebe, Amalanta, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. This is Mars. It only has two satellites orbiting it. Well, of course it does. <laughs> so, what is Phobos? And it, and it is the largest moon on Mars. And the other one, Deimos, that's about smaller than Phobos. It'll be pulled away from Mars. But Phobos will eventually crash into Mars. But Mars will become moonless. Is but that this really is, real? Or did you, it is real. How did you find that out? My universe movie ha tell, tells me that. But this is Earth and it has one satellite. It... It has in the moon. That's its only satellite it has. But the two planets closer to the sun than Earth, Venus and Mercury, do not have moons. Well, how old are you? I am seven, and I'm teaching. You're, so you're still teaching? <laughs> oh, sorry. This is Venus. It it really has no moons, but but it orbits close to the sun. Orbits about this close to the sun, and this is Mercury. It is the closest planet to the sun, but there's a planet 51 Pegasi that orbits closer to the sun than Mercury. But but it's a Jupiter-like world. It's a gas giant planet. It's so massive, <laughs> but a planet that massive cannot be close to the sun. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, it has to be past the asteroid belt. You. It used. It just has to be at least past Asteroid Belt, or it could be past Jupiter or Saturn or Uranus. This is the sun. It is bright. Yes, I see. And it is large compared to any planet in the solar system. Now the moons. This is the moon. This is our satellite. We, we see this moon at the night. The moon mm, runs with room. <laughs> room. Room runs with moon. Yes, focus on the planet. But the moon mm, is a satellite. Hold on, I need to hide date. But this moon is just um, orbiting Earth. But, but eventually, something might happen to the moon. This is Deimos. This is one of Mars's moons. 
The animals will actually be pulled away from Mars and it'll, it'll crash into the surface of the sun. And it'll do that after Phobos crashes into Mars. This is Phobos, the closest satellite orbiting Mars. Phobos will eventually crash into Mars, but then Mars will become moonless. This is Amalantha. This is the smallest moon of Jupiter. It really does. It's really hard to find it before because it is so small, but also so dark sometimes. Callisto is is the last of Jupiter's large moons. It is the second largest moon of Jupiter. This is Europa. This is the smallest large moon of Jupiter. Ganymede. Ganymede is Jupiter's largest moon. Ganymede um, is, a, is about the 14th moon orbiting Jupiter. But Phoebe orbits farther from Jupiter than Callisto. Phoebe is the farthest known orbiting um, moon orbiting Jupiter. This is Io. This is this is the second smallest moon orbiting Jupiter. It's the second smallest large moon, of course. This is Dione. This is one of Saturn's moons. The Saturn system is has less moons than Jupiter. But what could seriously be true? Is Phoebe could be pulled away from Saturn just like Deimos will be pulled away from Mars. This is Enceladus. Enceladus is a fourth moon orbiting Saturn. But then there are moons orbiting in between Enceladus and Tetis. But they are very small, but I don't know them yet. And when I get older, I might know. What they are. This is Empilus. Empilus. Empilus is the fourth, is the third moon orbiting Saturn, and it is, hmm, it is one of Saturn's small moons, just like Phoebe and Promontus. But Janus is 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 the same in orbit. As Empilus. Wait a minute. Which one? Which one was that again? Oh yeah, look. It says em em Empathus. Oh, how do you say that word? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, occupies e essentially the same orbit as the moon Janus. So that's how I know that. Because you just read everything, don't you? Yep. But then, Hyperin. Hyperin is, is one of the Who farthest names, satellites seriously. orbiting Saturn. Hyperin is a far moon orbiting Saturn. But this is an image of uh, Hyperin. And here's the fact. Hyperin first discovered in eight, 1848 by two independent groups. But that is actually true about Hyperion. This is Lapitus. Lapitus is the farthest large moon than Saturn. Lapitus has as almost is is the is the most information. It has the most information to be a large moon orbiting Saturn.